Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I have a huge haul for you. I bought a lot of stuff recently from Target, mostly online, a couple things in store. I have a box from Ulta and I have a few buys from Amazon. And I thought since I bought so much stuff recently, I might as well show you guys. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get into some of these boxes. We'll start with this guy up here. Most of the stuff I bought recently were home items, and I think I bought a couple miscellaneous stuff. Obviously, the stuff from Ulta is going to be makeup related, but let's go ahead and see what I purchased because I kind of forgot myself. <laughs> I only have scissors here because I can't find my box cutter, so we will struggle here together. Ooh. And of course, Target puts one item in every box. So this only has one thing. <laughs> How handy. Okay, so for the first item, we have a wooden spice organizer. I love getting organized and I thought that this was super cute. I like that it's tiered. So the only thing was I didn't measure my cabinet that my spices are currently in. So I'm not quite sure if this will fit. It's a pretty narrow cabinet. But I thought if it didn't work in my spice cabinet that I could use it in my bathroom and organize some of my makeup on it. And I could put some of my Vera Curlic jars on here and kind of organize it that way. But it could be another alternative. And if it really doesn't work out, I can always return it. So I thought this was really cute, very lightweight. It's Target's brand Threshold. So it's just a simple wooden spice organizer that is tiered kind of help you display your spices. All right, so I'm back with my laptop and I'm gonna check what I purchased everything for. And I also wanna mention that everything that I bought online at Target, I got on sale. So I actually got a notification on my Target app telling me that a bunch of home decor was gonna be 50% off that day only. So I went ahead and I checked it out and that's where I got most of these items for. So a lot of these things were great deals that I didn't wanna pass up on. So I thought if I bought them and they didn't work out, I can always return them, but I wanted to take advantage of the 50% off. So the original price for this is $21 and I ended up paying only $10.50. Okay, so the next item I will open up will be this guy. This is a Amazon purchase. Let's see what's in here. Oh, these are my, this is gonna be noisy. Let me just open it up real quick and then I'll show you. Okay, so these are super adorable. Oh my gosh, I didn't know how big they would be in person. Oh, there's a little plastic piece here still, so I can take this off, snip that off. Okay, these are so cute. I just love baby things. <laughs> so these are just little acrylic scoops. So I really wanted to get my laundry room organized. I don't like the scoops that I'm currently using in my laundry room. None of them match, they're different colors. They just don't look aesthetically pleasing. So that's why I purchased these off of Amazon and it came in a big pack. Let's see, there's one. Two. They came in a 12 pack and they are so cute. They're so little. And I'll show you on the screen here how I'm using these and what I am using them for, but they are so adorable. I'm so happy. Oh, one of them actually is broken. Oh my God, a couple of these are broken. I mean, I'm not gonna use all of them. I only need like two, but it's unfortunate they came broken. They have a really good return policy, but since I don't really need all of them, I probably won't go ahead and return them, but they are so cute. Next one, we'll do this Amazon box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, of course, this box, just for one little box inside. I love how they package things. All right. Oh, I know what this is. All right. So it's this spray bottle. It's a cute, clear glass spray bottle with a silicone non-slip bottom. It is so cute. So my all-time favorite multi-purpose cleansers are the Mrs. Myers ones. And I go through those pretty quickly. So I noticed that they sell a concentrate where you can fill it up with one fourth of the concentrate and then the rest with warm water. So I wanted to use that, get more bang for my buck and be a little more eco-friendly. And that's why I went ahead and purchased this. And I love how it looks aesthetically. So that's why I went ahead and purchased this glass bottle and I have the concentrate that I fill it up with as well. All right, next we'll go to this box. Ooh, kind of heavy. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I know what this is. All right. So in this box, we have some OxyClean because I was too lazy to buy it at the store and I just always forget when I'm there. So I have a couple jars in my laundry room and I wanted to fill them up with something. So I bought the OxyClean to go in one and then I bought these clothespins to go in the other. So I think they're gonna look super cute on the shelves that I have in my laundry room. I'll show a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about or a video clip, we'll see. And for the clothes pins, they're actually really cute. I'm not gonna use them to hang up any clothes, but I thought they looked aesthetically really adorable and they're gonna look really cute in the jars, I hope so. So that's why I ordered these from Amazon. I think we'll save Ulta for last. Let's move back on to Target. Ooh. Ooh. This one's a little bigger. So in this box is bedding. So I got this striped quilt from Target. It is by the brand Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. It's 100% cotton. It's in the size king. So I actually have a quilt like this in my guest bedroom and I love that it's machine washable. So I wanted to get one for my bed and this is a king and it is gray and white striped. I actually have the matching pillow that I showed in my liquidation haul that goes with this bedding. So I'm really excited to get this on my bed and put that pillow with it. It's gonna be really cute together. And like I was saying earlier, this was actually bought with that purchase for 50% off online at Target. So this retails for $79.99 and I actually purchased it for only $39.99. Since that was such a great savings, I had to pick this up. So I'm gonna try it out, put it on my bed, see if the colors look good in that room. And if it does, I'm gonna keep it. If not, I will probably take it back, but we will see. They have a pretty good return policy there. I'm really excited to go ahead and put this on my bed and see how it looks but it's really cute. Let me see if I can show you a close up of the picture on here and see what it looks like. If not, I will show you some clips that I find online so you can kind of see what the bedding looks like on a bed. <laughs> oh, I still have one more Amazon. It's up here. I think when I take this down, though, this bag's gonna fall, so I will bring the bag down. <laughs> okay, so this is the last thing that I bought from Amazon. <laughs> Okay, so this is a dog toy that I got off of Amazon. It's from the brand Hyper Pet. It's a doggy tail touch activated toy. So I actually bought this before for Bella, but she destroyed it, but it did last her a good amount of time and she loved it so much, I had to get it for her again. So what you do is you take this little tab out. <laughs> you take this tab out. It's gonna hurt. Okay. So it has this interactive element inside. You have to put batteries in it and then you press the button in here and then it goes crazy. It starts jumping around and makes noises and Bella goes nuts for it. So it says it has hours of interactive fun by wiggling, barking to stimulate your dog's play drive. So it goes active for a little bit and then it'll kind of shut off for a minute and then it goes back to being active for a little bit and she has to chase it all around and she loves it. It will keep her busy so long. And this is another great toy to use for her if she's stuck inside and needs to get some energy out. Or if I don't have time to play like fetch with her or something, I can turn this on and it'll keep her busy for hours, I swear. The only problem with this one is that it can be destroyed. So if it's not on, she can just sit there and kind of pull at it and rip it apart. Once she gets at it and she can take it apart, I take it away from her because inside is just a plastic device that has the mechanism inside and I don't want her to get at that and swallow any of those pieces. It can be really dangerous for her. So just as a little warning, you have to be careful with it, but it's really fun and it's battery operated and it actually includes the batteries with it. But if they do die, you can always just replace that piece and then continue to let your dog use it. And I will insert a clip here showing you Bella playing with it because she is so funny with it. And you'll really get what I'm talking about with how it kind of like barks and wiggles and all of that, but it's fun. <laughs> she loves it. Okay, so I'm gonna be giving Bella her new toy. She is so excited for it. So there's a button inside here that turns it on and this is what it does. Are you ready? She's so ready for it. She just loves it. Look at her tail go crazy. Bella, you love your baby? Is that your baby? 
little tail. She's so cute. But that's basically what it does. It just wiggles and it makes that little bark is what it calls it. And then it turns off and turns back on. Okay, so we'll go back to Target and what I bought from them online. Put this box down. Oh, it's a big one. This one's so big. Ah! <laughs> okay. Let's see what's in here. So a bunch of stuffing. I'm gonna have such a mess to clean up after this. <laughs> okay, so again, they put one item in one box, but it is a big item, so maybe that's why they had to. So I got a pillow. I actually got two of these. So let's go ahead and find that one and open it up. It's gonna be the one on the bottom. I will recycle everything that I can recycle, but this is ridiculous that they ship in so many boxes. Okay. Let's toss that over there. Oh my God, if you guys could see the pile that I've created, what was behind me, it is 10 times worse now that it's all unpackaged. <laughs> Okay, so like I was saying, I got two of these and they're really cute and they're much bigger in person. So these were also 50% off online the day that I bought them. So these guys retailed for $30 and I got them for $15 each. Or it's like I bought one and got one free. But they're really nice, they're so big. I did not think they were gonna be this big for only $15 a piece. And they're definitely more on the white side than the cream side, which I like. And I like that it's gonna match the bedding that I got because it has that white and gray look on it as well. It's more of like that softer white, but not so tan and creamy. I really like them. They're so soft, so cozy. <laughs> but this was a really good deal for only $15 each. Put those to the side. We'll finish up with the next two boxes. Can't get it out. Okay, okay. Let's get the box out of the way. It came wrapped up like this, probably because it's glass. Okay, now we got the wrapping off. Let's throw this with my pile. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a problem for future Tiffany. She's not gonna like the Tiffany that's here right now. <laughs> okay, so this is the next item that I bought and it's a lot bigger in person than I thought it was gonna be. But I thought this might look cute on my entry table. We'll see, or I might find another place for it. But it's really pretty. It's this nice dome lid. Let me take the rest of the plastic off. Okay, now that I got the plastic off, this is what it looks like. It has the dome glass lid with a cutout on the top, and then it's got the wood brown finishing on the bottom here. And I just need to get a light bulb to go with it. I didn't think about getting the light bulb. What I wanna get is like one of those cute Edison light bulbs that kind of show that wiring inside. That will look really pretty in here since you definitely get to display whatever light you put in here. But this is so nice. And it's just got the plug here. And I like that it has a dimmer on here as well. So you can bring it up really high or really low, whatever your preference is. And it's just gonna look so pretty. I'm excited to see where I can display it. All right, the last box from Target. Oh, I remember. <laughs> That's like the whole theme for this video. Let's take it out of the packaging and I will show you what I got if you can't tell already. So the last item that I purchased online at Target is gonna be this plush blanket. It is in the size king. So it is a king size plush blanket. It's really pretty. It's in this nice white cream. I thought this would also look really good with the bedding. Let's see if these whites match. And it looks like these whites match perfectly. Oh, I'm so happy. I wasn't sure if everything was gonna match. So. This will go at the end of our bed because I like to be extra cozy with a blanket. I'm actually really obsessed with these micro plush blankets from Target. I already have a couple of them. I have two that live on my couch currently. I even have one that's in my guest bedroom and I have a coral color one currently in my bedroom, but that won't go with the new bedding. So that's why I went ahead and purchased this one. And I'm really excited to get this on the bed with the other bedding items that I purchased. So pretty, so cozy. All right, the next items are from Target as well, but I bought these in store. So the first item is going to be this basket. So I've actually been eyeing this basket for quite a while. So the full price of this basket is $35. And I noticed it went on clearance for $24.50 a while back and I almost bought it again when it went on clearance. But I was like, I don't really need it. 
And then a few weeks later, I saw it again with the regular priced item baskets. And I was like, that was on clearance. I'm gonna pick it up and try to scan it at one of their end caps and see how much it rings up for. So when I did, it rang up for 1050. And I've been wanting it for so long. I was like, I have to get it now. It's 1050. It's a sign. It was still there. Like that is crazy. So this is by the brand Threshold. And it's just this nice wicker basket. It's got the two handles here. It's kind of flimsy. And that's part of the reason why I didn't purchase it in the past is because it doesn't look like it's going to hold its shape well. It's going to have that kind of slouchy look, which I think is cute, but it could be a little frustrating when you have it somewhere. But for only $10, I was like, this is a pretty big basket for 10 bucks. I will find a purpose for you, I promise. It is so cute though. I'm so happy with this purchase and I'm so glad that I got it on clearance. Great, great find. Okay, so for the rest of the in-store purchases, they're gonna be all hair items. The first one is this Kristen S. Hair Color Depositing Conditioner in the shade Terracotta. So I've been really, really wanting to dye my hair like this light, strawberry blonde, pale orange color. And I've been really wanting to try it out without it being like super permanent. I only wanna try it out for a little bit of time. So I thought that this would be something really cool to try out. I'm going to just do a little test strand, see if I like it, and then I'll probably do all over my hair. But this was only 14 bucks there. And if you don't want the color to come out really deep, you would just dilute it with more conditioner and then you would apply it to your hair. And if you also don't want it to come out really dark, you would apply it to wet hair. If you, and if you want the color to be a little more intense, you would just apply it to dry hair and then you would rinse it out. And then I'll show you on the side here what they're saying, what the before color is and what the after color is going to look like. And I don't want it to be that intense. So I'm blonde, but I'm not this blonde, but I still don't want it to turn out that intense. So I will definitely be applying it to wet hair and I'm gonna dilute it with some conditioner, but I'm gonna test it out first on a test strand and see if I'm even gonna like the shade or if it's the shade that I'm going for. I've actually used this brand before in a temporary tint. It's her rose gold temporary tint and I've used that before and I've really liked it. It lasts for about a week or two weeks depending on how often you wash your hair and I highly recommend that stuff if you just wanna have fun and have pink hair for a couple days and then your hair will return back to where it is. It's definitely something that's only gonna work on someone who has lighter hair already. If you have brown hair, it's not gonna turn it pink so, but if you have light hair, it's definitely something fun to try out. The rest of the items are also from Kristen S, but I got a couple accessories. So I got this cute scrunchie with a bow and it's kind of in that terracotta color as well. I think it's super pretty and it shows you some different styles you can use. And if I color my hair, I think it'll look really cute with that too. The next one are these two French pins and they are gold and you kind of just tie your hair in a knot and you can stick those through and it will hold your hair for you and it will look adorable. I've been seeing a lot of videos and different looks on Instagram even of girls using these French pins to do some quick updos. I thought that these would be really nice and I wanted to pick them up to try them out myself. So I'm really excited to try these out. The last item are just these sectioning clips and these are great for when I'm styling my hair I need to get a couple pieces out of the way. A lot of my clips have gone missing, so I just wanted to grab these while I was there. So last but not least are my Ulta purchases. Let's open it up. So I just got four items from Ulta. I had a gift card that I got for Christmas and I finally got to use it. They had a few things on sale and I wanted to take advantage of the sale and having the gift card. So I went ahead and ordered a few items and this is what I got. So the first item is the makeup eraser. This one is the black one. I've never used these before, but what I think you do is you just get it wet and then you wipe it over your face and it will remove your makeup. Yes, so it says erase all makeup with just water. So you use this makeup eraser. It just looks like a little black cloth. I'm gonna open it up here. Fairly big, it, wow. A lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So that's really nice. Let me open, let's take it out of the wrapping. That is a pretty decent size. I did not know that they were this big. So I got this on sale. Let me see how much I bought it for. So like I said, everything that I bought was on sale. So these normally retail for 20 bucks and I could never get myself to buy these because I thought 20 bucks for a cloth is way too much money, but they were on sale. And I ended up getting this just for $11.20. It was on sale for 14. And then I had a 20% off coupon that I could apply on top of that. So I thought 11.40, I can do that, but 20 bucks, I don't know if it's worth it yet. And after I try it out, I'll let you guys know in the comments if it was worth it or not, or if it worked, or if I recommend it, but I definitely am glad that I am able to try it out. 
especially for that discount. The next item I got is the full size of the base tape. This is a primer from Tarte. If you haven't seen my January favorites video, I talked about this product on there, so definitely check it out. I'll definitely link it here and I'll put it in my description box down below. But this was in my January favorites and I just had the tester size and I was loving it. So I was almost done with that and I saw that this was on sale and I was like, ah, I gotta get it now. So this retails for $30 and it was on sale for $21. My 20% off coupon didn't apply to this because it's a prestigious brand. And it's just a hydrating primer that you use right before you put on any makeup. It helps your makeup last longer throughout the day and it helps smooth out your skin and it helps prevent your makeup from setting into your pores. But I've been loving this one, so I'm so happy I was able to pick up the full size at a discount. So this is just the base tape from Tarte. So the next item is going to be this Kylie lipstick. I'll take it out of the packaging. So it's in this warm strawberry color. It's super pretty. I saw it online and I wanted to try it out. I've never used Kylie's lipsticks before. I've used her liquid lip kits before, but I've never used her actual lipsticks. And this was only on sale for $8 and it normally retails for 17 bucks. So you can see that here. It's super pretty in that warm strawberry shade. And last, but certainly not least, is going to be this Morphe setting spray. So what's cool about this is it's a duo pack and I got it on sale. So this pack retailed for 20 bucks and I only paid $8 for it. So it was on sale for 10, and then my 20% off coupon brought it down to eight bucks. So that was such a great steal for these two. So it's a full size and a travel size. I've used this Morphe setting spray before. I love that it's in that aerosol can and it sprays out very evenly and it helps set any of your makeup. So even the full size one that's in the black bottle that you're probably more familiar with, that retails for 16 bucks and I got the full size and a travel size for only $8. So that was definitely a great saving. That's why I went ahead and ordered this one to restock. I was kind of running out of the black one anyways, so I was happy to be able to get this on sale. So that wraps up today's haul video. If you wanna see more hauls in the future, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, bye.